Uh, it's been great here. Uh, met a lot of teammates, a lot of friends. Uh, the coach is great. Uh, people are great. Uh, I feel like home here. Obviously, you had some expectations transferring from Nebraska. Wanted to get some things done your senior year. Are things working out? Uh, yes, sir. I wanted to uh, come to a great team and uh, be a part of it, and it's working out pretty good. Uh, I'm learning my way. I'm getting acclimated, and uh, every day is like game day, so getting better every day. Talk about your first game against UConn. How did that go? Uh, it went real good. Uh, I felt good stepping on the uh, field, wearing a wand, my helmet. Uh, did some good things. Uh, we won. You know, we won big time, so that's always good. Uh, I loved it. It was pretty. felt good. Leading up to the game, you weren't listed on the two deep roster, uh, mm -hmm. but you did get some playing time. Now you're listed on the two deep roster. Going in, well, how'd you react to that not being listed? Uh, I, I don't really pay attention to that. Uh, I just go out there and practice every day. Uh, I didn't even know I wasn't listed. Uh, that's just something the coach tells not to focus on. Uh, just like you say, uh, I wasn't on there, but I played. I, I traveled. Uh, I actually didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like I said, I treat every day like it's game day, and uh, you know I go out there and practice hard. I study hard. Uh, I write down everything that Coach Howell says. He's a great coach, and you know he teaches up well. He uh, he get us trained on the football field pretty good. So uh, I guess that's what uh, carried over to the field. Have you played in Nebraska now? BYU has a talent level compare. I uh, mean, they real good here. You know, uh, <laughs> Nebraska they good there too. But we train real hard here. Real hard. Real hard. Real hard. Real hard. We got. Yeah, we run. You're right <laughs> to the ball before on the field, off the field. You know, it's, it's great training. You know, it trained us to do great things. That's why we uh, we we won and uh, we played well uh, last Saturday. How you getting committed to the defense? The three, four, four. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's real good. You know, uh, you got to study. You know, every defense is different. You know, it's different uh, terminology. It's different signals. So, uh, you know, I get I'm getting that down pretty good. So, uh, you know. Uh, the defensive scheme is real good. I love it. Uh, it gives me an ability to uh, use my, my skills uh, the right way. So uh, I fit in real good. I love it. Texas coming up. Talk about it. Uh, Texas, man. Uh, I actually played there my junior year. As a, uh, as a junior, we was like in the fifth round playoffs. So it would be a great experience going back. You know, I'm have some family there. So that would be uh, good as well. And, uh, Have you heard all the talk about how much Texas is up for you guys and how you weren't here last year, but the way you laid the wood to him. Yeah, I, I wasn't here, but I seen it on TV, and, you know, uh, it was pretty bad. But, uh, yeah, uh, last year was last year. You know, we got to have a, a, a totally different mindset. You know, the same people from last year not here. And the same with them. They got a new head coach. So uh, we practicing a different scheme. Uh, you know, we preparing uh, for, for Texas uh, the right way. They're up, to, they're up for you, though. I mean, they, they want a piece of you. Now, did you like that going into an environment like that with a team that's yeah, like that? I think we, everybody want a piece of both. You know, it's a competitive sport. You know, uh, they come, we come in there, and uh, they know we coming. We know we going, so uh, it should be a great game. You played it at, at Texas? Yes, sir. So are you kind of a veteran and kind of telling the guys what it's like? Are they kind of coming to you and saying, hey, <laughs> Well, actually, it's like a different field now. It was actually grass when I played. And, uh, it was kind of muddy. Now they got turf. But, uh, you know, the environment is real good. You know, the people, the uh, the crowd, you know, it would be real good uh, going to like a legendary field. Talk a little bit about their, their wide receiver, Jackson Shipley, obviously coming back. He's a mm -hmm. top ten receiver at Texas. Talk about him. What is he doing uh, he's a good receiver, you know, he run good routes, you know, you can't take nothing from him. Uh, he catch the ball well, but, uh, you know, uh, we have a scheme and we uh, we execute well, then we should be all right. Yeah, it's a run-based defense, or I'm sorry, offense primarily. Is that uh -huh. 12 personnel, 22 personnel, so to speak? Does yeah. that kind of fit more your style of play? Oh, uh, yes, sir. You know, anything fits my style of play. You know, uh, <laughs> all receivers, all running backs, you know. Uh, but, yeah, they got two good running backs. and. Um, you know, that's that's one of the key focuses, uh, stopping the run, stopping the run. And, you know, uh, we, we've been working on that. We've been, like, drilling that into our heads. So, uh, I think it should be real good stopping the run come Saturday. What secondary rotation do you expect to kind of be in the rotation the next time? Uh, I expect to be ready. Uh, I expect whenever my number is called, I expect to come out there ready and just keep it rolling, you know. Yes, sir. There you go. Since you never look on the two deep, you are less on the two deep this week. Just, yeah, just, just so you know. Just so you know. Oh, okay, great, great, great. Well, now that I know, I feel good about that. You know? uh, so uh, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, my number get called and you know I pick up uh, well, whoever left off, and you know we keep it rolling and beat Texas. You and Jordan Leslie are kind of in the same boat. You're, you know, fifth year transfers and all that. 
Um, you're both from Texas. Have you guys kind of bonded here at all? You had kind of uh, oh, yeah. on each other as far as making the transition? Uh, oh, yes, sir. Uh, you know, we both similar, like you just said, last year, both seniors. And, uh, you know, we talk to each other. We, like, have uh, same uh, recognitions of Houston area. Uh, we talk about his uh, experience at Utah, my experience at Nebraska, you know, uh, real good friends. Uh, yeah, he was a real good wide receiver, you know. Uh, I had to get acclimated to the elevation. He was here before me, so he had to help me out and, like, tell me how to do it. So, uh, yeah, Jordan's a real good guy. Jordan Leslie says that if you come from Texas, you could grow up a uh, Texas fan or a Texas A&M fan. Mm -hmm. Which did you grow up a fan of? Ah, uh, man. I loved Texas at first, but then they didn't offer me, so then I just said, forget it. So, uh, <laughs> so this will probably be a good payback. But, uh, but yeah, it's either Texas or Texas a and you know, but Texas got a lot of good colleges out there. And, uh, you know, it's it's like multiple colleges that you can, like, get addicted to. Like, you can grow to love. So that's pretty good. And of course, now being a BYU Cougar. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, about about uh, yeah, this is my favorite college now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You mentioned getting acclimated. What's been the hardest thing to get used to coming up? Uh, well, the hardest thing first was, uh, you know, uh, learning a, def a different defense. You know, it's a different scheme, different terminology. So I had to switch my mind from Nebraska defense to uh, a non BYU's defense. And, like, the second thing was, like, the elevation, you know, uh, running and stuff, getting caught up with all the other players that's been here, you know. Uh, but that was that was a pretty tough part. But uh, I think I'm almost there now. If I'm not there yet, but every day it get better and better. Uh, that's the focus. As far as being acclimated, uh, I heard last Friday night you actually spoke at the fireside. Uh, yeah, that was a great experience. That was actually my first one, and, uh, and I didn't know what to expect. And then uh, at first I wasn't going to speak. Then a guy from the crowd just uh, he called upon me. Then I spoke and. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty nice experience. Well, what was your reaction? It's like, this is my first fireside. I don't know what to say. Or was it that sort well, of uh, thing? Uh, <laughs> well, he didn't necessarily call them. He, like, asked for the guys who are not LDS or whatever. And then uh, I was like, uh-oh. So I sat down <laughs> in my seat. And then he was like, for the guys who uh, who come here, what's the difference? How do you like it? And, uh, you know, all the guys who was on the stage when they kept saying my name, like, Harvey, that's you. Harvey, that's you. <laughs> so uh, I just got up and you know, I just spoke and just said what came to mind. Yes, sir. Well, it was a good experience over there. Yes, sir. It was a real good experience. Are you yeah. anticipating any more talks at Fireside in the near future? Uh, yes, sir. If, it, if my name get called, I'm always ready. <laughs>